Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Zanwax channel. Today, I'm going to be shooting a video about picking my personal top 10 high grade kids because a lot of you have been requesting, like, hey, recommend like the top 10 high grade kids. So, there you go. Today, I'm making this video now. Before we start the video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell next to subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also, this video, because it's a recommendation, um, it will include premium men I because I have some picks that I really think that they deserve a spot So if you're someone who's looking for cheapest This might be not the perfect option, but some of the premium men I I really need to mention again Just like the RG video that I did last time if you don't agree with what I'm talking about That's completely fine because as I said, this is just a personal list all the recommendation of this video is based on my own experience which means that I have the gamma and I also have a review and please forgive me I don't plan to rank them specifically because it's very hard for me to rank them like one by one so I would just go to one to ten all right coming up first at the first place is actually the XGCE L strike on them or the strike roll because they basically use the same part anyway so why am I recommending this because it is actually really simple um, the L strike or the strike roll you don't need to do a lot of recoloring and their articulation is really good and they are just pretty solid as well if you really want me to pick a flaw about this kit right here is the stickers on the L striker wings that part right there it might be having like a little bit of sticking problem where you know play with it too much and then the sticker will just stuff have a corner flipping up and that's the only flaw that I can talk about but overall, the XGCEL Strike or the Strike Row is actually a pretty good kit. If you really want to be critical, the only part that you really need to repaint is the little dagger, the Armor Shredder, I think is that's called. The only part that you need to repaint is that little dagger, and that's it. So if you're someone as lazy as myself, or you're looking for a cheap, quick, solid kit, and also posable, this is a good pick. So the second one on the list is the XGCE Destiny Gundam. The Destiny Gundam, a lot of people like it, including myself, the community, they have positive feedbacks. Now actually, the Destiny Gundam at the XG line is better than the RG. Why? Because the RG now is actually, compared to the XG1, the stability is terrible. Two, the weapons, um, the storage, and then the rotation, XG did it better because the RG version, I remember when I was playing it, it was really difficult for me to rotate and the weapons at the backpack always fell off. And free because RG back in the days, I don't think they have like a specific hand for the sword or the launcher. So XG fixed this problem. So you can just simply rotate it and then, you know, disassemble the hand and then clip it back in. So it's very easy for you to pose. And also the articulation is extremely awesome. The the waist part right there, you can move the side skirt a bit to increase the side kick of the legs articulation. So that part right there is really awesome. And also I need to remind you that the RG Destiny, the Wings of Light and the RG Destiny, they were sold separately. The Wings of Light is premium Bandai and for the XG version, Bandai is really generous. They gave you the Wings of Light, the Palm Cannon Effect parts. Like it's just so good. So you definitely have to pick this up because this is cheaper overall than the RG Destiny. And if, you, if you're complaining like, but there's not enough details on the service. Uh, there's no, not enough decals. All you can do is just purchase like a RG Destiny water slide decal and then just, and then just take your XGZ Destiny, put on some decal. It looks as amazing as the RG. So XGC Destiny Gundam, definitely recommend you to pick it up. Coming up next is the Infinite Justice Gundam. The Infinite Justice Gundam, I recently had a review about it. If you're not sure about the articulation or anything else about that gamma you can just click the link in the description to check out the review. So let me just go through the Infinite Justice Gundam very quickly. So first, the articulation is absolutely amazing. The accessory, the gimmicks, they were beautiful amazing overall you don't need to repaint anything because basically bandai gave you every single color that you will need so if you're as lazy as myself you don't have to repaint a single thing just you know just do some panel lighting and it will look amazing let me say it like this the only part that the infinite justice might be having a bad about it is the accessories because one of the accessory is like a it's, it's like a hooking claw or something like that i forgot the whole name but because the wire cannot hold the weight, so sometimes when you pose with it, uh, it will kind of like lean down, but that's fine because as I said, 
in the review you can just cut the wire shorter and everything will be fine so basically if you ignore the wire problem infinite justice is like the perfect gambler for you to build the next one is the tri burning gundam from the build fighters tri you might be very surprising why am i choosing this gambler well a lot of you might be like myself you don't like the build fighters season 2 but the tri burning gundam i really need to recommend it because uh, let's just say it like this it's a gambler from around five years ago but the articulation is like really amazing because the tri burning gundam in the anime is like a gambler that uses martial art so bandai will replicate that so what they do is they extend the joint and then make it like really poseable so any kind of martial art pose that you want to play with is possible on that gambler and also this tri burning gundam because they have to give you the effects to let you recreate the scenes from the anime where the punching the kicking so they gave you those fancy effect parts those flame effect parts so you can really mess around with that tri burning gundam definitely recommend you to pick this up the effects looks amazing and also the posability is like over the sky the next one is Premium Bandai, the Mud Rock Gundam, or you can call it Gundam G06. So I reviewed this before. This is a Premium Bandai. I'm sorry if you think that Premium Bandai is like really expensive, but I really need to recommend this Gabla. So let's talk about why am I recommending this. So first, for the coloring, the only part that you need to recolor is the backpack thrusters where it's supposed to be yellow inside and that's the only part that you need to recolor. Overall, the articulation is amazing and also I think it's the Gunpla that features like you can rotate the whole arm or the forearm only so you can make your poses more natural. Generally, the stability of the weapons and the shield were really good. You shake them, they never fell off. Also, Bandai is actually really generous. They gave you the part to let you recreate the incomplete version or the complete version. It's actually really simple. You just have to swap a little bit of part like maybe two parts you just need to swap two parts and it's the incomplete version and then swap again is the completed version so you can play with it differently even though this is a premium and i i still recommend people to buy this because you know, it's actually a really good premium Bandai. Stability is good, color separation is good, the weapons are really stable, you have extra gimmicks, and also you can switch between incomplete version or complete version. The next one I'm recommending is the Gundam Ground type. Why am I recommending this? Oh, by the way, I, I mean the refined version, not the old version, okay? The Gundam Ground type articulation is really good. Knee down shooting is not a dream, it's actually possible. Also, there's different accessory for you to play with. So overall, the Gundam Ground Time, you're not gonna feel bored because you have a lot of accessories for you to play around. And also, the part that is amazing is actually one, uh, the articulation, and two, the backpack design. So the backpack, it have a 180 millimeters cannon in it and it's stored perfectly inside the backpack. It's like so amazing. That part right there is, like I can't even explain it, the design is just way too good. But I do have to warn you that the only problem about the Gundam Ground type I think is the torso because the torso right there, there's a ball joint. So there's a ball joint right there you have to snap inside the chest. And that part right there, when you're moving side to side, I think that joint is for you to move side to side, if my memory is correct. When you move side to side, um, the ball joint sometimes will pop out. At least on mine, it will pop out. I don't know about yours. The Gundam Ground Tie separated into two types. So the first one right here is the regular release, but the regular release is still pretty fun. The second one, if you have more money and you're considering buying premium Bandai, then uh, and you actually never own a Gundam Ground Type Revive version, buy the Parachute Pack version because the Parachute Pack version, they gave you an extra Parachute Pack, the Gym Head, and also a lot of weapons as well. So you can definitely mess with the accessories. I bought the Parachute Pack version. The review is in the description. Please go and check out. And the Gundam Ground Type overall, I still recommend you to buy it. You have to try that backpack design. The, no, actually not the backpack design. It's how they store the 180 millimeters cannon. It's like the design is just pretty good, I think. So the next one is a premium Bandai. It's the second V. If you never heard of this Gunpla, that's okay. Link is in the description. Check out my review and you will understand more. And I also have a CC sub for that. So the second V, they rework 
the XGUZ Victory Gundam top to bottom. They added a lot of parts for the color separation. So basically, you don't need to paint a lot of things. If there's like a black part that you need, just use this one. This one right here, the Gundam marker, the black Gundam marker, just solves everything because only part that you really need to repaint, let's be honest, is actually some black part on the legs part, if I remember correctly. All you need to do, just take this out, draw some lines, and then, you know, just fill in the color, done. So the color separation and also um, the recoloring is actually not that much. So really recommend you to pick this up. And also, why am I always recommending second V because second V they gave you new parts and also new weapons for you to play with and the weapons actually have different ways for you to play with so that part right there I really like it if you really want to be critical about this second V right here because you know the articulation is great the color separation is great as well a lot of weapons and a lot of unique weapons for you to play with as well really need to be critical the only part that um that they didn't really do well is I wish they can make the armor. So some armor you will see a circle. I wish that they can change those circle to parts instead of stickers. That's the only flaw that I really can pick. The next one on the list is the Hyakushiki. Why am I recommending you to buy this Hyakushiki right here? So first, the articulation is amazing. The details is actually looking really good because the Hyakushiki legs have a part kind of like exposing the inner frame. They gave you that detail as well. So overall, the articulation and the detail is already really amazing. And also for those of you that were really lazy, um, Bandai got you covered. So most of the gold parts, they use hidden numb marks. So um, you just trim those part off and you basically can't see any nut marks on the gold piece of armor because ah, Bandai planned this all along. They released a chrome plated version. This is all for the chrome plated version for the Gundam base version. So Hyakushiki, they have hidden the marks, which was why that you don't have to do a lot of work to sand the armor. Overall for the Hyakushiki is actually pretty simple. You just need to buy a spray can, the TS-21, I think that's called metallic gold. Um, if you're as lazy as myself, it's actually really easy. Just buy a spray can, respray that um, injection gold color, and then it will look really amazing already. But sorry guys, I don't have a review for that because I built that Gamma before I created Sephaphonix, so I don't have a review for that. So the next one is the Gundam Sandrock XGAC Gundam Sandrock. A lot of people don't buy this Gamma. I don't know why. Like people around me, they just don't pick up this because I think they either think that the appearance looks so weird or it's just too simple in terms of accessory. But if we put accessory aside, um, this one right here is a cheap, quick to build and also really poseable gown plus. So I actually really recommend you to pick this up. So first, you don't need to do a lot of recoloring, maybe on the shoulder, but honestly, this marker right here does everything. Just Fill in the black color on the shoulders and done. You can really pose with the Sandra Gundam right here and also the shield you can combine with the Hit Soto. Is that called Soto? Hit Soto you can combine together and to form the Cross Crusher, I think that's called. And also they gave you the part to recreate the heated uh, Soto. Why am I recommending this? It's actually really simple, cheap quick to build you can pose with it very easily and very naturally and again just like myself i am very lazy so i don't want to do any recoloring sandra gundam is like a perfect choice for me i don't have to recolor anything and it still looks amazing the last one on the list is going to be a little bit surprising is the gabaldi bader listen to me why am i recommending the gabaldi bader so first the gabaldi bader might be like the more like the most boring gobbler on the world because it's just like the standard armament shield rival two beam sabers that's it so it's actually really boring in terms of accessories but uh, what i want you to focus is actually on the gamble itself so first um the articulation is not going to be as bad as like the old days because let's be honest this is a modern technology gamble so what do you expect? It's gonna be like bending nine degrees? No, of course the articulation is gonna be very good. The Gabaldi beta also have some hidden 
details um, such as when you pull out the shoulders you can see the beam saber handle you cannot take it out and use it it's just there for like a decoration and also when you pull out the chest piece you will see the cockpit as well so that part right there i think the details is actually doing a pretty good job also this kit right here i really recommend for beginners to try this because this is a cheap quick to build kit you can easily learn all those gunplay techniques and also if you are looking for like a kit bashing kit this one right here might be a good choice as well because it's cheap even though you mess up you can still buy another one to replace it and this kit right here is like the perfect lazy kit for us because the nut marks is really minimized it's very hard for you to see unless you look very closely if you look at it if you look at it from like a distance you barely can see any of them because most of them they were hidden inside the joint or hidden inside the piece so overall the finish it looks pretty good you don't have those like annoying big numb marks that you really have to deal with or you have to you know consistently annoying yourself let's just sum it up like this Gabaldi Beta is a perfect kit for beginners or people who were lazy like myself that uh, you don't have you don't want to do a lot of sanding uh, this one right here is a perfect choice and I really admire the fact that Bandai put in some like hidden details inside the gobbler so this one right here is my last suggestion thank you guys for watching this video this will be the end of it Hope you like this list. Um, as I said, these kind of suggestion, recommendation is all my personal experience. You can check the reviews down in the description. If you're not sure about like a certain gampla, just click the link in the description and, and watch the review and you'll understand it. If you like this video or you think this video is really helpful, just subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. You can also comment down below about your thoughts and or what type of topic you want me to do next time. So I will just end the video right here and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.